FlossTube, welcome back. This is Lady Robin S. For those of you that are subscribers and have come back, thank you for doing that. I'm happy to spend some time with you. I'm happy that you're here. For those that have just found me, welcome. I'm happy you're here also. This is a channel where I talk about cross stitch. So I hope that you're into cross stitch. I hope that I can help inspire you. Maybe it's been a while since you cross stitched. Help inspire you to pick up your needle and your thread again. So let's get to it. Cross stitch, that's where we're at today. Okay, so today we are in Disney's California Adventure. Today has been an adventure. Let me tell you, I went to work. It was nuts. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but so often Wednesday mornings, I don't work many mornings. I usually close. I work at a public library and usually Wednesday mornings when I work, the place goes bonkers and I'm convinced it's my fault. <laughs> so in case you're wondering what kind of adventurous beverage I'm having today, I'm just having hot apple cider. Yeah, that's what I'm having. It seemed like the perfect fall drink. Let me tell you, this morning when I started my day, I walked the dog with my neighbor like I do probably three, four times a week. We never seem to quite make it to five. Um, yeah, the leaves were falling. We were kind of crunching through some places. It was a little crisp. It's definitely fall. Fall is here in the Pacific Northwest and it's beautiful. We even had a little fog. So there you go. All right. What have I been doing? Let me tell you. I went to the first cross, cross, cross stitch retreat that I've been to in years. I went to the Fall Fling down in Portland, Oregon that was put on by Acorns and Threads and it was delightful. It was really fun. There were 70 people in attendance and it was just awesome. It started on Friday night with a come to the shop and shop. So we started there and then Saturday and Sunday we moved to kind of a convention center and we had two days of stitching. And let me tell you, the amount of stitching I did was that much. <laughs> I felt like I was very, very studious and very diligent and that I sat and I stitched and stitched and stitched. But what happened was twice, twice on one piece, I got my counts off. And so I spent about as much time unstitching <laughs> as I did stitching. That's okay. You know what? It's all about being with fellow stitchers sharing the love and that's what I did and oh well so I had done stitch some stuff that's all right I wouldn't trade a second of that experience away it was absolutely completely totally worth it I met people that I have only seen on floss tube in person they're real people they come and they talk to you and I can't believe it and they say that they've seen my videos which is crazy because this is floss tube number eight. I have not done that many videos. So I was shocked that people had seen them and thought they were okay. <laughs> In fact, nobody said, oh, your videos are okay. They were lovely. They were really, they were really kind and they were fabulous. They just welcomed me. They told me they enjoyed my videos. They liked my content. And so there you go. It was absolutely worth the price of admission, right girls? It was great. I met lots and lots of you and I was so happy to do it and I can't wait until we meet in person again and do it again and stitch together. So with that in mind, what have I stitched? I found while I was rummaging around my house, running around like crazy, trying to get ready for the fall fling, I found an ancient P 
piece that I didn't even know I still had. And what's really funny about this piece, I'm going to show it to you in a second, is it was a kit that was given to me at the last cross stitch retreat that I attended. Is that right? The last one? Second to the last one. It was one that was um, down along uh, the Columbia River Gorge and it was right outside of Bridge of the Gods. And yeah, I was looking for, let me show you what I was looking for. Have you guys seen these things? It's, it's a quarter. Ugh, lots of glare. Anyway, I wanted to make cord because at the fall fling, they had an ornament exchange. And so I have one of these and I have it in red, right? Do you think I could find this doggone thing? Nope. Nope. Can't find it. For all I know, it's in my parents' basement. <laughs> um, so anyway, I had to order a new one and I found one on Amazon and it could be in two days. I love Amazon. That quick shipping is just so my jam. So anyway, I got my quarter. I was able to make my cord, but while I was rummaging around, I came, excuse me, I came across a bag and I was like, well, maybe my quarter's in here. And so I peeked open in, in, inside this bag and here was this little box. You see this? It's by the Trilogy. It was a little round robin and it makes this cutie patootie little thing. And I was like, I remember getting this. And lo and behold, it was still in there. The floss was in there. The pattern was in there. Um, somewhere on my desk. You guys, if you could see my desk, you wouldn't believe it. It is a disaster. Well, I posted pictures on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, it still looks like it did on Monday when I posted that picture. But anyway, um, the cording, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see it. The cording, the green cording that's on this picture, that's in there, that's all done. And I remember doing it because we used the quarter at that workshop. So we made our cord there too. So that, that was just, it was just like, wow, what a, what a crazy, you know, mashing of things. So anyway, I stitched on that piece. Here it is, you can see it on Sunday at Fall Fling. And I had, what was I, I think at Fall Fling, I didn't quite have the birdhouse filled in. Like the, um, the light tan color I have done before, but all kind of the, um, the dark kind of um, rusty color, that still needed to be done all of the um, the vine around the outside it needed needed to be done and then the buttons and so yeah I polished it off when I got home and I'm totally jammed to to finish it off and I think I will try my uh, try my hand a little pillow and use that cording that um, that I found that I had made years and years and years ago so I just can't tell you how cool it was to come across that. So, yeah, I I remember getting it, but if you had if you had asked me if I had this, I wouldn't have had any idea. So anyway, um, that was one of the things I stitched on when I was um, at Fall Fling. Um, let's see here. The other thing I stitched on, I stitched on a new start. And I think it's behind me. Yes, hold on one second. Okay, so in my Love You More Studio Co. sleeve, I started working on the Fresh Picked Pumpkins by Barbie Petal Pusher, this, this guy. And I'd mentioned that I was going to start this in November because it's part of the, uh, what is it, back Backward Birthday Sal. So, I got to start. But this is the one that I kept having to 
um, unstitch. I kept putting a frog on it. But I did get a little bit of a start going, if you can see that. So, um, yeah, it wasn't much. So I just kind of got this little bit right in here done. So, yeah, so that's kind of, that's what I stitched on Saturday. So I stitched and I unstitched and I stitched and I unstitched. So, oh well, it was, it's not a lot of stitching to show, um, but that's okay. Um, so those were kind of the things that I stitched on at the retreat. And then, oh my gosh, I cannot get that stuff back in there. Sorry. Um, the other thing that um, happened at Fall Fling was an ornament exchange. So last week I worked on my ornament and finishing it and I've got, I've taken pictures of it and I still haven't um, figured out editing. So I'm gonna work on that because I'd like to show you how it turned out because I thought it turned out kind of cute. So I'd like to share that, but if I would have been smart, I would have taken a video and then I know how to like add two things together, but I don't know how to add words and I don't know how to insert pictures and all that stuff. Oh, that's coming. I'll figure that out soon. But anyway, for the um, ornament exchange, I it was kind of a round robin type of, well, you know, it's like that white, white elephant Christmas exchange where, you know, you pull a number out and somebody goes up and picks a package and then they can... Um, they can steal somebody else's thing before they open the open. I think that's how it works. Anyway, um, we did that. So I think, I think I got stolen from once. Is that right? Yeah, I think I got stolen from once, but okay. What I had originally was super cute. I, it was a little hard anger ornament and boy, hard anger is one of those things that I am just so envious of people that can do that because I tried it twice. Should hold two fingers, huh? <laughs> I tried it twice. I still did it. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Work was tough. Anyway, um, what I ended up doing on, on the second piece I got it so close to the edge because everybody said, well, you don't need to leave a whole lot of space because it's not like cross stitch where you're going to, you know, turn it over and frame it and do all that sort of stuff or you need enough you know, to sew it into a pillow or whatever it is you're going to do um, because you're going to trim it. I was like, oh, oh, well, you know, I'll leave half an inch. Well, that didn't work <laughs> because then I miscounted and then I didn't have enough room to put my... I think you call them cloister blocks to finish it. Anyway, it was a to it's, it's a total disaster. <laughs> so when I saw somebody ending up with a hard anger ornament, I was like, oh, that's mine. That, that's mine. Cause I, I, I don't know how to do that. I can't do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to get that thing. So somebody obviously felt the same way I do about hard anger and they took the hard anger ornament, but what that meant was, I got this. <gasps> Isn't it the cutest? Oops, camera. Camera skills. I got this adorable Prairie Schooler Santa. And this guy was stitched by Olivia. And she is the pump at the Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. That's her um, floss tube channel, and it's amazing, you guys. If you haven't watched her, you need to go watch her channel. It's stunning. The stuff on there is amazing. So, even though I didn't end up with the hard hanger, I ended up with this. Oh my gosh! I think I thanked her like her, you know, thirty thousand times, and she is probably sick to death of me. But I mean. That's how I feel about this. I'm like, <laughs> so um, it's already sitting out on my mantelpiece um, by pumpkiny, Halloweeny things because I haven't de-Halloweened my house yet. But this, thank you, Olivia. 
I really, really love it. So there's that. Um, another bit of stitchy kindness from the retreat was from, let me make sure I do it right, from Melanie Smith at Yarns and Threads. That's her floss tube and also her Instagram. And she was sitting in the table behind me and she was stitching on the cutest doggone thing. And you know, it was a you know, smaller little thing and I just loved it. And I went over and I you know, looked over her shoulder and I said, oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing ever. And she said, oh, I'm almost done with it. Do you want the pattern? And I was like, uh, what? She goes, you can have it. I've got, you know, I've got my working copy and I'm almost done. And so you can take it. And I was just shocked and thrilled. So it's a Lizzie Kate. And let me show you. You guys, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. And it's got those three little boats down there. Ugh. Love it. So, yeah. Melanie, if you see this, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I can hardly wait to stitch this and, you know, nautical things are my jam. So, it's got boats. It's got boats. I love it. So, that was um, the other um, stitchy kindness that was given to me at the retreat. And then my last floss tube, I talked about um, some samplers out of this amazing book, the Cross Stitch Antique Style Samplers. And I don't want to say her last name because I didn't double check with her that it's okay to do so, but her first name is Marty. And Marty, in my comments, said, I have that book. Do you want it? What? Yeah, I absolutely. <laughs> because I was going to go buy it off of Amazon or Goodwill Books, wherever I could find it. And she was like, yeah, I'm not using it. You you know, it seems like you like it more than I do. So I'll just send you my copy. And she did. Marty, thank you. I am overwhelmed. I am so thankful. And so this is Marty's copy. The one I got from the library was... Um, uh, paperback and hardcover. Oh my gosh. So I moved all my tags. I moved all my marks, my bookmarks in, into this copy. So all of my favorite things are already marked and ready for stitching. So thank you, Marty. I really, really appreciate it. That was super kind of you. So yeah. So I, I had three super Super nice um, stitchy kindness things happened to me at the retreat and also from being on floss too. And so I thank you. I thank you for being so generous to me and welcoming me and doing those things. So the, um, the one thing that fell by the wayside though with getting ready for fall fling was the School of Magical Stitches. I don't think I've done School of Magical Stitches homework for two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. So I'm back on it, girls and guys, if there's any guys out there. I don't know, there might be. I mean, I know there's some guy floss tubers. I just don't know if I have any guys following me. Doesn't matter. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm back to um, making plans to fulfill my homework for the School of Magical Stitches. So what I have got on my on my radar this week is lots of stitching on you know her, you love her, pretty little Seattle. So in case you, you've forgotten what she looks like. This is this is where I'm starting this week on this on this cutie patootie pretty little Seattle. So there are one, two, there are three tasks this week um, for School of Magical Stitches that I can utilize this for. So if everything works right in my world, I'm gonna get 600 stitches put in on, on this one. And I don't know if you can see it, 
but this down here, let me just fold it up, is a fairy. That's the top of the fairy. You see that right there? And I saw, I don't know if it was on Flosstube or if it was on Instagram, but somebody had um, swapped out the colors on that. I might have talked about this before. Um, Washington State Fairies, I live in the state of Washington, they have green stripes on the side of the fairy. And in the pattern here, they've kind of got purple stripes. And so it's been just in the back of my mind, oh, it'd be so much better if it had the um, hunter green stripe like on the fairy. So I think I'm gonna do a little frogging and take out those two rows of purple stitches and swap them out to um, a nice, a nice hunter, hunter evergreeny green. I might, I might use this one. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that to me looks like the color that's on our Washington State Fairies. So I think I want to make that switch because like I said, it's been in the back of my head and why not? If it's bugging you, just do it. So that is um, the first thing I'm going to stitch on this week. And then um, I already showed you my little round robin piece. And that um, fulfilled one of the other tasks that um, that I've got to complete. So that one was stitch on an old treasure, which I'm like, well, nothing can be older than a treasure you don't even know you had. <laughs> so, yep, that's all. That's all completed. I've got that done. Um, and then I've got a couple that I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to stitch. One of them is stitch on, look, I got hair stuck in my eyebrows. Um, one of them is stitch on the piece that's closest to a finish. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look at my whips. You guys, I don't know if you can see them way back over there on that, on the second shelf down, I took all the books off my bookshelf and I put my whips up there because they were in piles on the floor. Like when I needed a whip, I would, you know, hunker down on the floor and dig through, dig through them. It was ridiculous. So I did a little bit of reorganizing because I was kind of embarrassed by the picture I put up on Instagram about how bad my um, space was. And I thought, you know what? I'm looking at my whips a whole lot more than those books. So I moved the books to a different bookcase because it's not like we have only one. <laughs> So I moved the books out, I put the whips over there, and I'm really happy with that arrangement. So, um, anyway, I'm thinking it's possible Pretty Little Seattle is the item that's closest to a finish. So it's possible I might end up using it for that. And then the last one I haven't figured out is I need a whip that has a repeating pattern. And I don't really have anything in my head that I think has a repeating pattern. Like I was, I was wishing there was a whole lot more stitching in this guy because, you know, kind of that viney border is, I thought was kind of a repeating pattern, but there's not enough stitches um, for that to be used for both of those tasks. So I'll just have to go consult my whips in my bookcase. <laughs> so the other thing that happened at Acorns was shopping. I think my credit card is still warm. I'm just saying because I ran that thing through those little terminals. Yeah. It was, um, it was not unexpected because I know I can be influenced by what everybody else is buying around me. But then there were things that I went down there specifically hoping um, that they'd have in stock that I could purchase. So I thought I would show you some of my haul. I don't know if I'll show it all to you because I don't know if anybody wants to see all of that, but you might. Okay, I'll start and we'll see where we go. Um, one of 
um, the patterns that I picked up. This cracks me up. Cracks me up. Have you seen this one? Have you read that? I don't self-medicate with cross-stitch. I have a prescription. The sale girl calls it a receipt. Whatever. <laughs> so this I am going to stitch and I'm going to put it up on the wall back there. Um, years and years ago, I used to get together with um, some friends and we would do collage things. And so I have lots of collage pieces up there, but I don't have any cross stitch. And I'm thinking it's time to get some cross stitch. So I think this would be an awesome addition to my little craft room. And with that in mind, one of the other things they had was fabric. And I don't know if I've mentioned before, hmm, maybe green is my favorite color. Green, I love green. So I picked up this. This is called um, River, River Willow. This is a 36 count linen. And I think I'm gonna try stitching it um, one over two. So I think, I'll have to do a floss toss, but I think that is going to look really pretty. I can't decide where to look. Where's my camera? <laughs> anyway, I think these two will look really, really cool together. And then um, the other, okay, I'm just grabbing them all because, all right, let the, sh let, let the, let the, um, let the whip parade begin. Not the whip parade. Let the let the haul begin. <laughs> okay. The other the other one that I got I got I got Bendy Stitchy's um, Hildy's Brew, and while I like it on that dark um, fabric, I'm kind of wondering how it would look on this. I might have to change Hildy's face because she her face is in in um, is that upside down? Holy Toledo. Her face is in green, but I don't know, maybe, because this is, I feel, I feel like Anna, the, um, the stitch roadie. I met her too. Oh my gosh. She's delightful. Um, and thanks for the shout out on your, on your little video last time. I, I heard it. I heard you mention me. Anyway, that never gets old, right? When people call your name out, it doesn't get old. It's like, eek, somebody, somebody knows I exist. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, Anna <laughs> talked about going to um, a cross-stitch cross store and she ended up buying like, you know, half a yard or something or a quarter of a yard or something and it was super expensive. But um, I, think this is, I think this is a quarter of a yard, but um, they had a really good deal on it for us um, when we attended the retreat. So... I was able to get lots of this. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple, I have enough fabric to do at least two, maybe even, you know, two pretty good sized pieces and then maybe a couple of smalls. But the other thing that I really want to put on that is, um, from Plum Street Samplers. It's the Merfolks Eden. They had this in stock. Remember I talked about my husband and I going down there and there was a pattern that had the narwhals on it. This is it. Nars, walls, narwhals, swimming in the ocean. So I'm hoping that um, when I grab all the flosses and um, put them on this fabric, I'm hoping that it will look really cool together. So there's that. Um, the other thing that I picked up was the Needles Dance. And that's by Ink Circles. This will be my first Ink Circles. I haven't done anything by them yet. So um, I didn't pick up fabric for this one yet because I just couldn't decide. Um, Michelle Bindi Stitchy, she picked this up and she put it on um, a red, a vibrant, vibrant red, which sounds really cool. Um, but then I've got a lot of green. <laughs> So I don't know if I'll have enough to do this um, ink circles on the green or if I just want to go a uh, completely different direction, but I have time. I have time to figure that out. So then 
the next thing I pur purchased was, you know or you love her, Cinnamon Stars, also by Plum Street. So, um, lots of people are working on this and it's one that every time I see somebody's progress on Instagram on this guy, I go, oh, that's so pretty. So I gave in and I bought myself a copy. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And then the next thing, see, I told you there's like so much stuff. It's insane. Um, I bought, um, the Cranberry Christmas by Hands On Designs. And these are, these are so stinking cute. I am really looking forward to doing those. And then I picked up the Sulkies. So I am looking forward to giving these a try. And I just love these colors. Have you seen these? I'm sure you've seen these, but I just thought those colors were divine. So I'm looking forward to trying my hand at some sulkies. And oh my gosh, see, there's still more purchases. Um, I had to pick up the um, sister's book by Blackbird Designs. There's just, there's so many really neat things in here. Um, and what's really interesting is you know, it's got all these these wonderful kind of autumnal Halloween fall type things and then right at the end kabam there's a Christmas pattern and it couldn't be it couldn't be cuter I love it so yeah let's see can I find it um, maybe not oh well you don't you don't need to spend time watching me flip through a book but if you if you haven't um, if you haven't seen it you haven't picked it up this is really cool. So those were um, some of my purchases. I just have a little bit more, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna finish, and then you th then I can use it, right? Because I have to show you guys first. There's a rule. I figure I remember that. Um, then oh, and there's a couple uh, more things from the retreat itself that I want to show you, and then I'll let you go. So I did um, pick up some silks and I've never used them. Look at these in Christmas colors. These are Gloriana's. I was thinking I'd like to try um, these on a Prairie Schooler. So that I actually had an idea of what to do with these. These, new idea. But you, you can't leave peacock blue behind. You got to have it. So it went home with me. Um, and then, let's see here. I did pick up a great big, huge um, bunch of 28 count. This is, this is navy bean. You think that's navy bean? I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Somehow I hear navy and I think it should be blue and now I'm wondering if it's in the wrong bag. I don't know. Anyway, a good basic 28 count linen. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So I got that. And then I picked up these guys. These are called Snippities and they're by Caddy Cross Stitches. She has an Etsy shop and her name, I'm sure you probably all know, I'm such a newbie. Her name is Marion, and she was at the retreat. She was delightful. So I picked up two of them. Look at, the, look at this, acorns, acorns. And then look at this one, this Christmas pattern. Isn't that cool? And then, because, you know, I can't leave anything behind, I can't share. I have to, you know, gobble it all up like a greedy pig. She had little, little tiny ones. And this one has got red snowflakes on it. Isn't that sweet? Okay, I will confess. I did start using this before I showed you. Sorry. Broke the rules. But I had to. I had to. Because I needed one. So, so there was that. And then... Okay, I've got three more things. Three more things, and then we're out of here. 
okay? They had, when we walked in, let me just grab it. When we walked into the place, everybody had these bags, these beautiful green bags sitting at their place. And I was sitting at a table with uh, my friend Lynn, um, who was sitting, Emmy was sitting beside me. Next to her was Audrey Stitchy Witch 42. Ha ha, see I said it right. Next to her was Lori, and I can't remember Lori's floss tube. Darn it, sorry Lori. Next to Lori was Carrie, and I don't think she has a floss tube. And then next to Carrie was Lisa Smith, the Kindred Stitcher. So we were, we were all sitting there and I think it was Lisa started to peek in her bag, right? And she was like, well, what's in here? Are we, are we allowed to look? And Jolien, out of the corner of her eye, she saw Lisa peeking and she came over and she closed the bag and she said, you can't look yet. <laughs> Lisa got in trouble. Um, so finally, they made an announcement that we could all open our bags together and we got an exclusive chart that's designed by Michelle Bendy Stitchy, and it is, um, no, let me show you, let me show you part of it. I don't know if I'm even supposed to do that. Anyway, it's a snowman um, looking at a tree that's kind of bending over, and it came with the the beautiful fabric. Isn't that great? Look, I mean, just hand dyed loveliness. And then the floss pack. So all these little flosses to create that. And then the board to mount it on. Can you believe that? We got all that stuff. It was, I was, it was stunned. And so uh, Jolyn and Janine were walking around with the models that were already stitched so we could see what's gonna look like. And, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to, to start this. So, thank you girls. Thank you, Acorns and Thread. Thank you, Bendy, for creating the chart. Uh, thanks to all of you. It, it was just amazing. So that was on Saturday. And then on Sunday, um, I think it was right after lunch? Maybe it was before lunch, doesn't matter. Um, we came to our places and we had this little lunchbox. But it's not just any lunchbox because, oh no, those ladies at Acorns and Threads, they're not just giving you any old thing. They give us a lunchbox with the best phrase ever on it. You see that? I was a cross stitcher before cross stitching was cool. <laughs> Isn't that great? So, there was that, and then inside the box was another snippety. And on the back of it, Fall Fling 2019, right there. And now these things, these things are super cool. They, um, they've got a little magnet up here beneath her logo, which um, means that it sticks to the lid. So I've already put a few few little goodies in here for myself, but what, um, what I can never figure out when I'm working on a piece is, what do you do with your tools? You know what I'm saying? You got your scissors, you got your needles, you know, you've, you've got whatever other things that you have to have that you use when you stitch every piece. And for a while I was thinking, well, if I've got 20 whips, I need 20 pair of scissors because I don't want to go looking for the, you know, the scissors. I just want to pick up a thing and go. And then I thought, well, maybe I need a tool bag. I think I found my tool bag. So, because I can put the scissors and the needles. I got my little, my little snippety here so that things won't uh, roll around. And then, um, this did not come from the fall fling, but, um, I have a group of girls I, I scrapbook with and we've got a couple of sewers and 
one of the gals made this cute little thing and I was like, that's an excellent ort catcher. And you know, it weighs nothing. It doesn't add any weight to the, to the little toolbox. So I thought I'm gonna put that, whoops, it flipped out, in my toolbox. So I've got something to put my orts in. So I'm starting to assemble a tool kit so I can, I can find my, my super cool silver lunch box, grab it, grab my whip, off the shelf, and away I'll go. So, all right, there are um, a few floss tubers that I have recently come across um, that I will hold on to and I will tell you about in my next floss tube, but I have one last thing I wanted to show you. Remember, remember the let's be thankful? I finally added the buttons. Finally, finally, finally. So I'm gonna just bring it up close so you can see them. There she glows with her buttony goodness. So um, what I found is I laid all the buttons out that came with this and I didn't like them all. So I only used about maybe less than half, maybe a third of the buttons that I originally bought and put them on here because there were so many buttons I felt like it was covering up my stitching. And you know, not that I'm the greatest stitcher on the planet, but I thought that's kind of the point, right? The point is the stitching, not the buttons. So I made an executive decision to not put them all on there. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So um, now that it's all done, I'm gonna cut myself some backing board and I'm gonna do some lacing and then I'm gonna see about a frame. I forgot one thing, one last thing. On Sunday, JoLynn showed us how to make this, a little snowflake, s snowman, star, I guess, yeah. But what was so cool was she taught us, see that, how to do the blanket stitch. And she taught us how to do the French knots up here. That girl, she's got more talent in her pinky than I have in my entire body. She is amazing and she is so generous with sharing her knowledge and her skills. And so JoLynn, thank you. Thank you for walking me through this. Um, Anna on the Quilt Brody Floss Tube channel, she um, has put up the video of JoLynn showing us how to do the blanket stitch. And she said, um, what did JoLynn call it? It's a half, oh geez. JoLynn, forgive me. It's like a half stitch, oh my gosh. Ugh. There's a phrase she called it and she said it over and over again and I was like, oh yeah, I'll remember that. <laughs> no, not so much. Um, anyway, go to Anna, the Quilt Roadies Floss Tube channel and check out her latest video because she um, she recorded JoLynn teaching us the blanket stitch. And I'm telling you, every single time I've had to do a blanket stitch, I have to go and look up on FlossTube how to do it. And I think JoLynn has now showed me a technique for doing blanket stitch that I feel really comfortable and confident doing. And I feel like I can repeat this over and over again. So if you need to blanket stitch something, go watch that video. JoLynn, she's a master. So she's one of the gals that works at Acorns and Threads. She is one of the folks that helped make that retreat possible. JoLynn, um, Barb, Jerry, um, Janine, of course. Uh, I think I'm missing somebody. So to the girls at Acorns and Threads, thank you for a fun time. Thank you for um, just keeping the cross stitchy love going for all of us. I appreciate you and I'm so, so thankful for the time that we got to spend together. So um, last little thing for you, 
if you are in the Seattle area on Sunday, this Sunday, the 10th of November, we're having a stitching meetup at the Renton Highlands Library from one o'clock to five o'clock. So come and stitch with us. So I hope to see you there. I hope you find time to get some stitching done, that you have an awesome time um, being with friends and family. Uh, drop me a line, leave me a comment, let me know um, how I'm doing, if you've got a question. Next video, I will talk about um, doing some giveaways of those old magazines I talked about earlier. Um, I'm over 500 subscribers. I am shocked and delighted. So thank you. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Happy stitching. Bye guys.